We start with the puzzle. What is it about the design of an egg box that protects the eggs? Since this is a lesson about Newton's second law, make sure you mention momentum in your explanation. Welcome to this nothing nerdy lesson on Newton's second law and momentum. Here is the statement from the IB Physics Guide. You should know Newton's second law from your study of forces. It's a very effective way of calculating the force which acts in a dynamic situation, and it relates together the important concepts of momentum and force. Here is a typical multiple choice question on this topic. You should be able to answer it by the end of the video. Here is the law. An unbalanced force causes a change in momentum. The larger the change and the quicker it happens, the larger the force. The rate of change of momentum is a measure of the size of the force. We can express it as a formula. The proportional sign means that it is true for any units of force, momentum and time. But if we use Newton's kilograms, meters and seconds, then the force is equal to the rate of change of momentum. Since momentum is calculated by multiplying mass and velocity, there are two ways it can change. Either the mass can change, or the velocity. Actually, they could also both change, but IB does not give you questions where this happens. So the change in momentum can be written in these two ways. Either change in mass times constant velocity, or constant mass times change in velocity. And this gives us two ways to work out the rate of change of momentum. On the left, it's rate of change of mass times constant velocity. And on the right, it's constant mass times rate of change of velocity, which looks familiar because that's acceleration. And Newton's second law tells us that the rate of change of momentum in SI units is the force in newtons. The equation on the right is our friend F equals ma in another form. On the left, the way to calculate a force if the mass is changing. This change in force happens during a short period of time, but we don't know if it's constant, so we have found the average force. We saw this situation in the last video. The bowling pin is knocked to the right at 7.5 meters per second. The additional information we have is that the ball and pin are in contact for 35 milliseconds. This extra fact will help us to calculate the average force that has accelerated the pin. We use the formula of mass multiplied by the change in velocity. We divide by the time they are in contact. And we find that the average force is 300 newtons to the right. If we want to know the force the pin exerts on the ball, we can use the same method to calculate it. But there's an easier way. Newton's third law tells us that it will be an equal and opposite force. Usually you can see from the question when this simple approach is expected, because they only give you one point for the answer. Here is an example where we use the rate of transfer of mass, a hose pipe. If the hose delivers 15 litres in the minute at a speed of 12 metres per second, what force could it exert? This is the formula we would use. For the maximum force, all of the water must decelerate to 0 metres per second. We don't know how quickly the water decelerates, but we do know how much mass of water is delivered per second. One litre of water has a mass of one kilogram, and we're spraying 15 litres every minute. So 15 kilograms of water in 60 seconds slows down from 12 to zero, and it exerts a force of three newtons. If you're holding the hosepipe, you'll feel a force, and due to Newton's third law, you know that this is equal and opposite force exerted by the water on the pipe. This is a momentum time graph and its gradient is the rate of change of momentum, which is the force. And we can see that when it's horizontal, it would be zero. And then the next force is minus two. And we're only asked to find the magnitude of the force. So we're looking at the positive numbers and zero and two is at D. The answer to this puzzle is to do with momentum. The egg box is soft. And if an egg collides with it, the material of the box bends a little bit. This means that when they're pushing against each other, the time of contact is longer. So the rate of change in momentum will be less, and the force, which would have broken the egg if the box were hard, 
is less.